Hello Capricorns and welcome to Send the Moon Goddess channel. We're doing readings today for the week of 9-5 through September the 11th, 2021. Um, we don't know if it's going to be a love reading or a career reading or business reading. We never know because spirit tells us what we need to know. And that's what I go on. Whatever they say. So, it's just a weekly reading. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Card down and it's based up. So we take it. You need five more please, spirit. Yes, yeah, so I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Holiday weekend at that. Oh, please. Thank you, Spirit. They actually gave us 11. And on the bottom is the Seven of Pentacles. It says failure, but I see it as are we going to get out what we put in? Okay. Let's go. Let's get it, Capricorns. All right. Let's see if they're going to tell you goals again. All right. Where we are right now. Ha, <laughs> goals. We're working on our goals. And um, we're working hard. We're working hard on our goals. Our challenge for the week is to take that leap of faith that that the divine want us to take. Let's see what that leap of faith is for. Okay. Our focus. The five of swords. Ah, uh, Okay Capricorn. It looks like you spying on someone. Woo. <laughs> Our recent past. It's the seven of swords. Yep. You've been spying on somebody. Okay Capricorn. I strengths. Is the five of cups. Oh, you got five and five right here. Um, a big change, Cap Capricorn. is going to be a big change for you. Um, disappointment in your challenges. I'm, I'm sorry, in your strength. You know you know how to handle disappointment is what, what I'm hearing from spirit. Let's see. We really going to have to clarify that one. Our future... The hermit. This card right here is it's normally marriage or religion. Okay? So we'll see. Because all of these cards right here, all, although this leap of faith is a positive, everything else here is um, a negative. Mm. All right, here we go. And our, uh, the best approach of the week, there is no reverse with these cards. So it's the Ace of Swords. Man, if you're dealing with an air sign, this is for you, okay? Um, yeah, this uh, is your goals. New ideas is coming to you and your goals. So the best approach is you is the new, the new, the new goals, the new um, ideas. It says a new approach, a new approach. Okay, what we need to know for the week? Ah, that you're going to be happy, the Nine of Cups. It's, it's like your wish come true. Okay, yeah, some happiness, yay. Okay, um, hopes and fears is the two of wands. It's a couple that um, have a lot of passion for each other. And our outcome of the week, we have two cards. Um, the Prince of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, nurturing, um, we're nurturing our goals, we're reaching, we're working hard, really. We're really working hard at our goals and we're reaching them. All right, I have Virgo, Taurus, Scorpio, all the air signs in air is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So if you um, 
dealing with any of those. Taurus is here big time. So if you're dealing with a Taurus and um, uh, Scorpio is here, that's what I see. All right. But it looks like your 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 mental your mental I think this leap of faith goes here. That's what I've been told. Your mental you you're not oh you're spying on someone for sure, for sure. And um you're you're trying to do your goals, but it's something in your way. So let's clarify the seven. The Five of Swords, please. The Five of Swords. Spirit. Yes. The Five of Swords. Yes. Yeah, um, whoever you in love with, you're spying on them. They're, they got you all up in the uproar, Capricorn. you spying on them because you don't trust them. You you don't trust them. You're, you, you have, you're having trust issues at the moment. And you really don't trust them. But spirit is telling you to have strength. Have confidence in yourself. Have confidence in yourself. Now um, Sagittarius is here. Aries is here. So you, you're picking up more fire. You're going through a rebirth. And, and, and um, so it's going to be some end to some things. And, and that's probably why you're disappointed too. But you you're you are nurturing. You're nurturing the relationship you're in, but you also spying on this person because you do not trust them. Capricorn, you have to have trust. If you don't have trust, there is no relationship. You have a lot of passion for this person. A lot of passion. And a lot of love. Look at that. A lot of passion and love. But then why you don't trust some Capricorn? See? This is your soulmate. This is your soulmate, Capricorn. You're with your soulmate. And and you came to your own party, of course. Um Yeah, you you really came to your own party. <laughs> But, um, yeah, you're in love with this person. The person is in love with you. You both have a lot of passion for each other. And you have abundance of love. But you don't trust them. And you're all up in your head about it. About this trust level. But, but um, Spirit wants you to take a leap of faith. Because you love them. They love you. And you guys... I see marriage. Marriage. Yeah, the sex life is, is improving. The passion is on point. You have so much passion for this person. The, the relationship is going to be nice. Good relationship. You guys going to get a... A, a new start, a new start, look, new start with a lot of passion. And they saying you do deserve love, Capricorn. You are all up in your head about it too. There's a lot of love here. But if you don't start trusting, it's going to be over. You have to start trusting. You're not trusting this person. You both have a lot of love for each other. And you're working on your goals together. A lot of love. Especially of you. You work you you are with the um a Sagittarius. Okay. They're saying there's a lot of love between you two. A lot of nurturing, a lot of love. You need to speak, speak your truth. Always tell them the truth. You need strength. Yeah. 
you want this person to have your babies or the other way around is female male but right now they have me talking to a male yeah this person is your everything you see this person as your everything but you got to learn to trust you guys are going to make money together your goals are going to be achieved yes you have the ten of pentacles the ten of cups you have the king of pentacles the queen of swords And be careful because someone's trying to break you guys up. Yeah. Someone wants y'all to break up. But Spirit's saying to take this relationship to a next level. Because you guys both are going to be able to work your goals out together. And you still worry. But this, you see this person as your star. Aquarius, Aquarius. Um, sp spirit is saying, you need to trust. You need to trust. You need to trust. You already love this person. They already know. The person loves you. The divine is in your relationship. You're going to be happy. So get married. Have babies. Don't worry about failing. You have to choose now. Stay out of your head. Stop worrying. Otherwise, you're going to cause confliction if you don't start trusting. Because you guys love each other. You love each other. You love each other. You guys love each other. And they want you... They want you to start trusting. True love. Playfulness. And plan your honeymoon. I say start planning your wedding and your honeymoon. Alright Capricorn. It looks like that's it. They saying that this person that you are with. Or want to be with is the person, the person you've been spying on. <laughs> you need to work out your your trust issues. That's what it's saying. Work at your trust issues. Work at your trust issues. Okay, Capricorn. If you do that, you you'll have a happy life. And planning. That's what I have for you Capricorn. Now I can't let you go without asking you to what? Like. Share. And subscribe to Send the Moon Goddess. To subscribe only thing you have to do is hit that button right there on the right. You hit that button and it'll just say subscribe. And that's how you subscribe to my my channel. Um, starting next week, I'm going to start doing some live uh, videos. And you don't want to miss that, Capricorn. You're one of my highest views. So you might even get one of the live um, videos where you can ask me questions. Okay? So don't forget to subscribe. Hit that button. Alright? So you can be notified when I do. All right. Thank you for being here, Capricorn. Thank you for all the love you've been giving me. I really, truly appreciate it. And I'm seeing the moon goddess.